All right, guys, so first thing is first. You are going to want to make this marinade, which is totally bitchin'. I did it in an older video, but I didn't have everything that I wanted to have in it. Um, I was missing paprika, which is major, and I was using chili powder, which kind of made it taste weird. Um, so first thing is first, you're going to want... You're gonna want olive oil. You're gonna want at least six tablespoons of this shit. Really don't be cheap. I mean, in all honesty, you layer the whole pan up in olive oil, so... I don't even know why they bothered putting it in, but I guess it's for consistency. Um, then... You're going to want honey. You're going to want... It says to use three tablespoons of this. But, I mean, if you... really depends on how sweet you want your fish to taste. So, in reality, I mean, I guess if you want it a little bit more marinated, less sugary, I would use three. Last time... When we were on the uh, ice fishing trip, I put in four. Four for good measure, and it was... It, I thought it tasted better. I think the sweeter side of it, in my opinion, tastes a lot better. And this... this oh, yeah. Don't hesitate to let that honey jar absolutely shit itself all into your fucking olive oil. Just, you know. I mean, at this point, screw it. Like, what, one more? Gonna be the last bit of the jar anyway. Let's not skimp out. Legit the last of it, what I have. Perfect, so then you're gonna wanna basically dump an entire lemon, like the whole lemon. You're going to want to squeeze all the lemon juice in there. Yay! So... Now, what else do I got? Oh. Here comes the teaspoons, so... Paprika. The thing that I was missing that was pretty important that I did not have. But that's something that you're gonna want. You're definitely gonna want that in there. And basically all the spices are really in teaspoons, not tablespoons. Um, Old Bay, of course. Old Bay is the absolute shite for making any fish related dish I put that shit on everything just like Frank's red and you're gonna want like you know generic pepper you know, fucking I probably should have just got a grinder bottle it'll just open up but you know, like to take the hard road in life. And the salt, I like to be careful with the salt. Uh, yeah. I mean, it says a teaspoon, but too much salt can really fuck everything up, so. Kinda. That should be. Enough. I don't want to go nuts with the soul. Um, okay. Oh, and then, yeah, the last thing is I got minced garlic here. I, I it says to use two cloves. I like to use four. Um, just cause, I mean, I don't know. You want to, like, get it into the fish, really. You want to really get it in the grooves. That is all she wrote.
then the rest the other the rest of the process is just mixing it all together you know looks really good I mean that that's the kind of color I like to see you know But I guess the olive oil mixes with the honey and keeps it from sticking. Kind of gives it this molasses kind of consistency to it. And now you're ready to put it on your fish. So I got the uh, fish here, and uh, basically what I want to do is sort of cut slits down the sides of it on both ends. It'll help it cook faster, and the marinade will kind of boil inside of it and add some flavor and I mean I'm gonna marinate under it around it inside of it so we're just gonna prep this up before we put it in the pan So next what you're going to want to do is prep your pan, obviously. I mean, you could use a foil pan or glass or whatever. But, uh, yeah, use some pan or something. Like, I mean, even if you're going to use olive oil, I just, you know, fish tends to really stick and burn if you don't do it right. So I like to spray first and then add a small touch of olive oil. Right now, we got our fish. We got our marinade here. And I'm just gonna basically just start drizzling the shit out of it. Make sure it gets in. You're gonna wanna really get it into the slits. You know? honey based so it'll actually stick really onto this fish it's not just gonna slide right off and you know this is gonna stay it's gonna stay on there it's gonna stay in there and it's got olive oil in it so it's gonna cook around you know from the base and on the inside and I mean Virtually, you're going to want to pack a little in there, and then, you know, you're going to flip it. You're going to do exactly the same thing, and then it's ready to go in the oven. So now i got this thing marinated, so what I want to do is uh, stuff lemon slices inside. You know. Really get them in there. Get a couple in there. And put lemon slices on top. I did the perfect amount of lemon. So much lemon. So now, this shit's ready to bake, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Gently slide that in. I'm just going to sit in there at 450 for at least 20 minutes to a half an hour. Uh, I like to do a half an hour just because the fish was pretty big. 
uh, bigger the fish, the longer you should probably leave it in. So basically what I'm doing here is I am uh, sauteing some red onion. I got scallions to uh, put on top and then these tomatoes I'm going to pack inside. Um, I don't want to saute these just because they're going to get runny in the oil. Um, they might get a little too runny. So it would be better if they just bake with the temperature of the uh, fish. Uh, like maybe before I put them in just to add some garlic powder. Let the tomato kind of absorb the garlic powder a little bit before you add them in. So right now we're a fraction of the way done. Stuffed it. Garlic, tomatoes, and onion. And uh, it's going to go back in for another 20 minutes. So as you guys can, ugh. so as you guys can, can ugh. so as you guys can see, I made a little bit of a mess here, but uh, fish is done. Basically, what I like to do is get the rest of the sauce, just pour it, just drench the shit. That's how you're gonna want it, and uh, now we're gonna taste test this bread. So as you guys can see, we are done. Fish is cooked. So now we're gonna taste test it. And uh, yeah, it just peels right off. Belly meat, the belly meat's like the best. Belly meat preserves a lot of that flavor. I probably look like such shit right now. It's like 10 at night. I just cook. I just go. So, uh, yeah. Not to toot my own tits, but this is, this is pretty damn good. Not gonna lie. Better than the first one I did. Way better than the first one. Ooh, got a little... Sometimes when you when you cook it a lot, the bones will pop off, but for the most part, they they peel right off. Lake trout, top favorite fish to eat out of fresh water, right here. Um, yeah, I gotta say, it's, it's I like it more than brown trout. Um, a lot to you know, you can mess around with different types of flavoring and recipes and whatnot. I, I really like it. Also like the onions, so I sauteed onions and tomatoes in there, just to add to it. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you also enjoyed the actual ice fishing video. Um, tight lines.